This week's video will be way slower than our usual videos as we want to focus on our market garden and give you an update about the projects and our vegetables. As you can imagine, not everything went to plan, but most of it was going very smoothly. One of the examples that went well are our carrots in the video. Here you can see our garlic that was also going quite okay, as we have planted two rows. Our beetroot is growing really well. We had so many that we had to thin it out and could put them into our first vegetable box. Some beds were ready for the next vegetables, as they were already empty. Here you can see me preparing and reseeding one of these empty beds. I recently realized that I've been calling the seeding machine a sewing machine in all the previous videos. I might be a little embarrassed about that. As a next step, we added some support for the cucumbers as they like to climb. The tool shed, which we started building in update video 30 to 31, is now in constant use and a big shade giver, which is really needed. And yes, that is a wooden rain gutter. Our carrots are looking great and I wanted to see how big they actually are before the first big harvest. You really have to use the right technique for picking them, otherwise you'll just get the greens. That's what happened to me in this potentially satisfying moment. The taste of the carrot compensated the feeling of failure though. This bed gave us a nice harvest of peas. We just snacked almost all of them and enjoyed their sweetness. Even though mowing the lawn often isn't too good for the ground and biodiversity, we chose to keep the grass around the market garden short. This helps against a potential snail takeover and gives us material to mulch our vegetable bits.
Luckily, we found lots of old tomato steaks lying around in the house. Slowly but surely, the plants grow and develop fruit. However, no comparison to the ones in the greenhouse. After the vegetables made it through the tough way from the field to the courtyard, they have only made a small step of the whole journey. Now they need to take a bath. I'm not sure if they enjoyed it, because we scrubbed them a lot to get the dirt off of them. The washed vegetables are entering the next step of their journey. Now they get distributed in the boxes for our customers. This week it's potatoes, carrots, garlic, beetroot, Swiss chard and salad. Since we unfortunately have 8 fits on our cucumbers, we're trying to fight them with vinegar. Whether this old household remedy actually helps, the coming weeks will tell. Since our tomatoes are making good progress not only in the field but also in the greenhouse, they have to be stacked out from time to time. We wanted to build an irrigation system in the greenhouse for quite a while. We established that and installed some holes and sprinklers. The whole system is gravity fed and doesn't need any electricity. Here you can already see the first results of our intensive tomato care from the last weeks. They grow just beautiful. And also the cucumbers grow and thrive excellently. Hopefully we can harvest them soon. We ended up installing new hoses as main distributing system as the dimension were too thin to water all the plants properly.